In this first section, I'm just going to go over the real basics about iPlanner. So I'm just going to talk about how to log in and how to navigate your way around the home page. The URL for the site is www.iplanner.co.uk. You don't have to add the login, it does it automatically for you. And then you just need to enter your username and password. If you are your school's iPlanner administrator, your login details will have been sent to you via email at the time when you registered for your account. If you aren't the administrator, then your login details should have been set up for you by your administrator. So if you don't have those details yet, you just need to speak to that person in your school and ask them to do that for you. If you forget your password, you can click on forgotten password and then you can set up a new one. Once you've logged in, you'll see the home page. This is where you access all of your plans. If you have Literacy Evolve as well, you can access them from the same screen. Over on the left hand side, you'll see your Abacus Evolve default plans. And you can see all of the ones that your school has purchased. So you might have some that are greyed out, or you might see all of them. So down the left hand side are the single year groups, and on the right hand side are all the mixed age pairs in between those. And you see that I've got a C next to each of years one to six, and that shows that I've got the access to the challenge modules. Now you can access any of the plans that your school has purchased. It doesn't matter if you don't teach that year group, you can access any of those. And don't forget the default plans can't be overwritten. There's no way you can accidentally make some changes and then save over the top. Over on the right hand side of the screen, are the plans that you personally have uh, edited, adjusted and then saved. And what I would suggest doing is that at the beginning of the school year I'd open up the default plan for your year group and then save it with a name that will be helpful to you for the rest of the year. So I've called my one here class 4SH 2010-11 to and then after that every time you go into iPlanner don't go back to the default plan, open up your saved plan and that way, all of your changes and all of your assessment information will be saved in a single file. Below that is a section called Others Plans. So that's when another teacher at your school has saved their plan with, sorry, shared their plan with you. So you'll be able to access a read-only copy from there. So sharing is really useful, for example, if your head teacher or maths coordinator wants to see your plans or if you and another teacher are doing team planning and you want to share your ideas with each other. And the last part of the home page are the buttons in the top right hand corner. So there's buttons for logging out, editing your profile and doing some admin stuff.